Hey everybody, it's Nicole coming at you with, I guess, a vlog. Um, about three months ago, I did the Ancestry DNA test um, just to see. I was a little hesitant because, you know, in the fine print, they tell you that they actually keep your DNA to do research and things like that. So I wasn't too keen on that. But I was curious to find out, you know, what the results were. Um, we're gonna bring me well anywho I wanted to do like a reveal video and all this stuff like everybody does but then when I got my results back um, I was taken aback somewhat and I had to process <laughs> what came back I actually felt like the fellow in the commercial where he says um, you know his whole life he thought he and his family were German and then it turns out he was Scotch Irish and all that good stuff. Well, I can totally relate. Um, my results came back um, being 79% West African, which was not a surprise at all. 3% um, um, uh, what was it? Arab. Um, Middle Eastern um, and 17% which was the shocker Irish 17% my DNA is of Irish descent that took me just by surprise and again like I said I had to process that because um, it was hard to believe I mean this is real talk, this is a vlog. You know, being of African descent, a lot of people of African descent, um, their DNA is intermingled with many different nationalities and things like that because of the slave trade and all that kind of stuff. So if the percentage was, you know, 10% or 5% or whatever for down the line or whatever like that, then I would have been okay. I'm not, I mean, it's like I'm not upset about it, but I guess I wouldn't have been as surprised because of how far down the line it would have been. Um, meaning 17% is really high. So that means to me that it's not that far back in generations when it comes to um my you know relatives or whatever and i know that it's on my father's side because i'm real familiar with my maternal side and the history of um that side of the family i did not know my father so you know obviously i don't know you know you know what his you know genealogy and all that stuff is but I know it pretty much comes from that side because there are no Irish people on my <laughs> maternal maternal side none whatsoever so um yeah I was really surprised about that um what I am excited about though is the fact that through Ancestry DNA what they do is um they'll send you um, information on people who have similar DNA and they actually tell you down quite to a close you know proximity as to um, what the relations is so meaning um, I have like cousins second cousins which is pretty close on the Irish side that they actually you know connected me to and so one of them actually sent me a message and we're trying to compare notes and everything to see exactly where we are kin or how we're kin so that's exciting um, but like I said you know I was really surprised about that part um, and like I said not so much of the Irish you know aspect of it but the percentage so yeah exciting but shocking all at the same time so again it gives me something to research because you know of course I'm all about African American history my African American history so I've you know I'm pretty familiar with you know that part of my um, DNA or whatever but to be able to um, research a whole new heritage two new heritages as a matter of fact you know the Middle Eastern part of me and the Irish part of me so that's exciting to know 
maybe why I act certain ways and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's really cool to be able to kind of look into that and see, you know, what I can find and stuff like that. And like I said, also to know that I have cousins <laughs> um, out there um, that I never would have known if it weren't for this. So that's super exciting as well. Um, I would encourage you if you have not already. And if you have, let me know down below and tell me how you felt about your results and what they were or whatever. And also tell me what you think about what I'm saying about mine. But um, yeah, I would encourage you to do it. Um, you do have to pay for it, of course. Um, I got mine on sale, actually. It was $79, but it, I think it actually is 99 if I'm not mistaken, but you can catch like sales and codes you can use to, um, you know, knock off some of the costs and stuff like that. Um, my results, I don't know if I mentioned this, came back really quickly. They'll tell you when you get the kit that it'll take four to six weeks, but it didn't take that long for me. Once they get it, they send you an email, they let you know that it's processing, they keep you up to date, and then once your results are in, they send you an email and say you can check them online. Once you get the kit, you have to register so that they know how to, you know, contact you once everything is, um, you know, all your results are in and stuff like that. So, yeah, you know, um, you know, like I said in the beginning, if you're not comfortable with them keeping your DNA, then I wouldn't suggest you do it. But, I mean, it is what it is. They probably already have it if you've gone to the doctor or anything. I mean, a lot of stuff goes on we don't know about. But, anywho, <laughs> this is about, you know, Ancestry.com um, and my little DNA results. So, yeah, I'm super excited to know all this. Um, again, like I said, I had to process it but excited um and now <laughs> when saint patty's day comes around i can actually say kiss ma'am iris for real honey for real <laughs> so yeah but excited to know that um and the great part about it is nobody has that dna but me you know even if your kids or your mom dad you know close relatives once they do it if they've done it theirs is going to be totally different so you may have some similarities as far as like you know ethnicities and nationalities and stuff like that but theirs is going to be different so if my daughter or my mom for instance did the same test or did the dna test theirs is going to be totally different because of their mom and their dad and what they brought to my mom, just as me with my kids, their father and me brought to them, it's going to be totally different from me. But you will have some aspects of me as well as dad, you know, in it. So totally unique to me. So I'm excited about that. So yeah, just wanted to share that with you. Um, again, I'll keep you updated on what I find out. And I guess it's going to do it for my little vlog. So until my next video, I'll see you then. Bye.